Hey YouTube, Carl here. Gonna show you how to do a uh, front cover in the RX-7 removal with the engine in the car. Specifically this Turbo 2 engine, but works for 12As all the way up until the Series 6 13B, which is the FD. There's a minor difference there, and I'm not familiar with it enough to uh, tell you how to do it. So here's a uh, brief warning. If you don't know what you're doing here, there's a bearing in between two shims that sets the end play of the eccentric shaft. If you do not have the if you don't have that preloaded in the correct direction by pushing the clutch down in the car and holding it, you're gonna end up with the front needle bearing, the Torrington bearing, falling off its little uh, surface it's supposed to sit on. And then when you go back together with the front hub it's going to crush it, it's going to turn to metal in your uh, engine, it's going to destroy your thrust washer, it's going to just wreak havoc and it's no good. So the way you prevent that is you got to find a way to push the clutch down in the car, hold it down, and keep it down. If you got a clutch master cylinder or slave cylinder that's bleeding down, you might not want to try this for the moment. Get that fixed or pull the engine, set it on its flywheel, with the eccentric shaft up. Here's the world's shittiest diagram of such happenings. Eccentric shaft bolt there. See that's front hub. There's uh end of the crankshaft. I don't know why I decided to that was threaded. But right up in here. We'll say that piece of the bearing, that piece of the uh, thrust washer shim, I guess was the technical term. The bearing can slip off. It's got its own little shelf it sits on. If it slips off, it gets on there. When you come back together with the uh, front pulley here, pulley hub, you're going to crush it, deform it, fuck the shim up, fuck the bearing up, and if you run it that way, you're going to have nice little bits of metal pieces running through your motor. Uh, Quick note, front cover, I need to pull it just for uh, an oily concern. All the front drives off the motor, water pumps off the motor, water pump housings off the motor. And right now, the only thing I need to do is jack the motor up, pull the front mount off, and then after that front mount's off, I can pop that. This that hub that we were talking about. It's a big old bolt there. It's pretty freaking tight. I forgot my impact gun. And I have a piece that's basically another front hub with a bar welded to it. And I'll use that to hold it if I can find it. Loosened up and removed the uh, oil pan bolts. The oil pan bolts up into the front cover. So that's the oil pan bolt. Alright, got the jack up on the uh, on the bell housing because the oil pan looks a little iffy. This is all much easier considering I don't have a hood on the car. And there, my motor mount is loose, and the motor is technically loose. Now I'm getting attacked by a throttle cable. Alright, motor mount's out. Now, before I pull that, I have to push the clutch in and hold the clutch. Now, since I don't have two different bodies, and no, I'm not going to ask anybody to sit there and hold that clutch, I'm going to come up with a way to hold it. Right. Since I don't have a operable driver's seat at the moment, I have a giant chunk of wood and a big fucking shop hammer. This, you can't see this right now. I don't like how long this camera takes to focus. Anyway, big chunk of wood hammer. 
I'm going to set that up on the clutch. Push the clutch down. And then wedge it between that and the block. Simple brilliance. The bearing that's inside the front cover should have pressure on it, so hopefully it won't fall out. If I can get a pry bar in the ring gear, that might do it. Ready? Yep. There you go. Got it loose? Yep, you're good. Alright, pull. The order of operation as it comes out. Got the front cover bolt. There's a copper crush washer. There's no ring there. And then I have the uh, thermostatic delete piece from Atkins. Little machine built piece. Gets rid of the uh, Thermostatic valve. Now, pulley. Come right out. Now I can pull the front cover. Alright, that should be all the hardware holding the front cover on. Take the old rubber mount. And this point uh, reminds me as oil starts spilling out of there. I forgot to uh, drain the oil, so I'm going to use the advantages crack here and suck it out. Cover it loose, so it's technically out. Juggling that piece right now. Alright, right up here where this dowel is, where I have my oil leak. I'll have to check the front cover then. Looks like I might have just been too light on silicone there, that area. Gotta watch out for this right here. It's a rubber o ring that sits inside on this casting a Teflon o-ring this seal here certain combinations of years of these motors either run no Teflon seal and just a rubber o-ring or both dependent on basic what your front housing is Here's counterweight, timing chain, crank angle sensor gear, or distributor gear depending on the year. There's the keyway, but here you can see up in here is where that Torrington bearing is. Because I had the clutch preloaded, there's no front end, there's no play on the eccentric shaft. So I found out 
the issue I'm having here is there's a small port right there and I believe that feeds the oil metering pump which my oil metering pumps blocked off so I think there's either inadequate silicone or something along that nature right there causing that to kind of piss out this way if you follow that port you can see the casting down there cast goes this way and then it does feed up in the oil metering pump got the old silicone out Boy, that'll let play. Alright, other camera died, so I've got to use the GoPro. Get the front cover one last wipe down. Alright, I'm going to get the front cover and click this one again. Mallet action, get it over the uh, front dowels. Now it's a quick game of figure out what bolts go where. So if that does it, folks, I'm going to go for some oil pan bolts now. Actually, I'm going to get that front hub on there. All right, make sure you don't catch the lip seal and knock the spring out on the front cover seal. tight so I can pull the piece off the clutch now and verify that nothing is fell. Alright, I do have one play, so we're good. Come off the motor and put the old pan bolts back in. Or just kick you guys. Grab your torquey meter, and then the uh, front pulley gets torqued to 90 foot pounds. Hit it again. Alright. Oh, she's torqued. Like I said, 
90 foot pounds or five or six dugga duggas depending on the size of your uh, dugga dugga machine. I mean, I would never tell anybody to buy snap on tools. I mean, definitely every YouTube supporter is going to end up turning into more space and more tools and more projects if we didn't need any more projects already. Which we probably don't, but yep. I mean, all things considered, you can never have enough projects. Alright. Well, I'm going to say this concludes this video for the night. If you like this video, smash that motherfucking like button. If you think I'm an idiot, tell me in the comment section. If you like this, tell me in the comment section too. If you want to see more of this shit, subscribe. Button will be yonder somewhere. I think down here, but I'll put one somewhere. Maybe. Maybe I won't. Then you're going to be like, Man, this guy is retarded. Carl out. And Steve or two.